friendly UAV inbound. Hey everybody, my name is Kidlot44. Welcome back to my channel for another video in the Drone Swarm series. This time, I'm bringing you guys the Drone Swarm with the Scorpion Evo, or as I like to call it, the Scorpion Evolution. Because, if you think about it, the Scorpion has gone through an evolution in the whole Call of Duty series. You first saw the Scorpion on COD 4. Uh, it wasn't that good of an SMG. I mean, it had really bad range as well as a little bit of recoil. It wasn't really too popular of a gun to use in COD 4. So that's what it was in COD 4 in Black Ops. It was also shown in Black Ops or featured in Black Ops. It wasn't that good of an SMG either. It had a really tiny magazine of only 20 rounds. And just overall, the statistics were the same. The range wasn't that good. So, you know, in Black Ops, it wasn't really a popular SMG either in that game. And in Modern Warfare 3, it got even worse for the Scorpion because it kind of got downgraded, right? If you think about it, it got downgraded from an SMG status all the way down to a machine pistol. So I guess the developers didn't even think the Scorpion Scorpion was that good to be an SMG, so they're like, hey, heck, why not put it in the uh, machine pistol category? So that was kind of unfortunate for the Scorpion right there, and I guess that was a low point for the Scorpion in Modern Warfare 3. Now, here in Black Ops 2, though, the Scorpion has gotten a lot better. It got, I guess, what you call a makeover or a facelift. Now it's called the Scorpion Evo, and it's definitely a pretty good SMG, a definitely a serviceable SMG in Black Ops 2. I mean, you have the high rate of fire. The, the rate of fire is just so monstrous, so fast, the fastest firing SMG in the game, period. You have pretty decent damage and low recoil. So I'm not complaining at all about the, about, uh, the Scorpion in Black Ops 2. I think it's a pretty decent weapon to use and definitely a lot better than its predecessors. And so I'm, I'm really happy about that, that the Scorpion is now a really good, uh, easy to use, relatively easy to use, serviceable weapon in Black Ops 2, uh, you know, over the previous Call of Duties. And now speaking of the previous Call of Duties, I have a, quite a story for you, uh, because I actually recently just popped in Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii, you know, you know the, not the Xbox 360 version or the PS3 version, I popped in the Wii version, and oh my gosh, the Wii version was like, I don't even know how we even stood it, I don't even know how we even put up with Call of Duty on the Wii now that we have all the nice features on the Nintendo Wii U. I mean, would you like to go back, guys? Would you like to go back to 30 frames per second, only 5v5, no controllable kill streaks like the AC-130 or Lodestar, no theater mode, no ground war, no this and that? I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, and I would never go back to that sort of stuff now that my eyes are now open. You know, it's like an epiphany, uh, epiphany a revelation, you know, uh, that we have now a powerful console that we can actually get the full Call of Duty experience, like I always say, the full what it was supposed to be like, what it was meant to be with an HD console now with the Nintendo Wii U. Nintendo fans are now able to have that experience. So I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about the Nintendo Wii U being out so we can play great games uh, like Call of Duty, how they were supposed to be played, how were they meant to be played. So quick commentary, the past was really bad. I don't, I don't know how I ever even played Call of Duty on the Wii. It's just so terrible. But now I'm Black Ops 2 with Wii U. Never looking back. See you later, guys, in another commentary. And peace. Thanks for watching everybody. If you would, please like and favorite the video. It really helps my YouTube channel grow. Also, you can click the annotations on the screen to watch more videos of mine. And finally, if you're new to this channel, please check out my video guide link in the description of this video. Basically, it's a document that lists and organizes all my best content all in one nice, neat place for you guys to peruse so you can watch the videos that you want to watch. Thank you for supporting me, Kidlot404, and the Nintendo Wii U.